Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about third parties in U.S. politics. Most of politics in the U.S. is dominated by the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. And the more I've learned about politics and the more I've started thinking about the political issues and the more I talk to people about politics, I realize that an overwhelming majority of people are not ideally served by either party. Like a good example, I tend to be pretty socially liberal on a lot of issues. Like I support LGBT rights and uh, I tend to have like a very pro-environmental stance. But I don't always agree with the approach that the Democratic Party takes. And there's some ideals in the Republican Party, like they don't necessarily play out this way, but they have these ideals of fiscal responsibility and small government and simplicity of laws that I also believe in. And there are also a lot of issues that seem poorly represented by either party. Like another example for me, I really want to end agricultural subsidies on these bulk commodities like corn, and neither party seems to be taking a really strong stance on that. There are all these third parties out there, other parties other than the main two, that have t take a lot of stances on different issues that I wish were better represented in American politics. For example, the three major parties after the Republican and Democrat parties, the Libertarian Party, the Constitution Party, and the Green Party, those are the sort of three next most influential ones, they all oppose agricultural subsidies. So I find that even though they have very different views from each other, they all agree on this thing that I feel pretty passionately about. Um, I also find that there are quite a few parties out there that I have a better kind of holistic match to than either of the mainstream parties. I really like the Green Party. You may think, oh, green, environment, that means liberal. They are not stereotypically liberal. If you look at their platform, they have a lot of things in there that could reduce the size of government and that could result in like smaller, more efficient government if enacted. Uh, another party that I recently learned about that is just kind of cool, uh, the modern Whig party. It's kind of like a resurrected version of the old Whig party, which was influential in the U.S. way back when. And I was surprised to find that I agree with a lot of their platform, too. When I talk to people, it seems like there's this pretty dominant sentiment that this two-party system is kind of flawed or problematic, and that people wish they could do something about it. But I also hear people talk about it as like with this sort of powerlessness, the sense that there isn't anything that they can do about it. Like the two-party system just has such a lock hold on U.S. politics that they feel hopeless about it. I don't think we need to feel this way, and I think that there are very specific things that we can do that can help to diversify American politics, and that can help to strengthen the third parties. I think the first thing you can do is to look them up and read about them. Uh, just doing that alone is going to be helping these parties and helping get their message out there. Another thing you can do is when you look over their party platforms and you find stances that you agree with, you can contact representatives, even if they're Republican or Democrats, and you can push those particular issues. You can also share the materials on social media put out by these political parties. And if you want, you could join them, you could give them money if you want. I personally think it would be a much better decision to give money to a third party than to give money to the mainstream parties. They already have a lot of power and influence, and I think society would be better off if they had a little bit less and the sort of the influence were spread around more. There's still other things you can do. Voting is important. And there are a lot of elections where voting for a third party candidate might be a really great idea. A good example, there are a lot of elections where it looks like it's going to be a landslide for one of the mainstream parties, like Republican or Democrat. And there are a lot of districts that that happens in most elections. And I think that in those elections, you're not really losing much if you vote for a third party who has a candidate that is a more ideal match to your views. And I think that it really helps the, that I ideology get more visibility. It's like if people see, wow, this candidate got a certain portion of the vote, I think that can influence the political system. Like the difference between getting 0.1% of the vote and getting 10% of the vote 
is huge. So, um, also, there are some cases where these third-party candidates do win. There, over the course of my life, I've seen a few candidates get into U.S. Congress and get into various local offices, and there was the instance of uh, Ross Perot getting into the presidential debates, and I think his mere uh, presence in those debates kind of mixed things up a bit. Uh, you saw a little bit of that with Nader. Uh, I do think that these candidates, even if they don't get elected, they influence the system of thoughts in society. And there are times when there are downsides to it. There are times when uh, they can draw away votes. Lastly, I want to say one thing that you can do that will help strengthen third parties in the long run, you can support new voting systems. There's an example of this happening right now in Maine. There's a petition to implement ranked choice voting, which is where instead of voting just for one candidate, you rank the candidates. This is great. I'm not going to explain it fully in this video, but it's great for helping third parties, and it's great for helping people vote for who they really want, not just vote sort of for the lesser of two evils, which is what I, I hear people describe the two-party system as very often. So I hope I've challenged your sort of sense of hopelessness about overcoming the two-party system if it's something that you struggle with. It's certainly something that I struggle with, but right now I feel very empowered and I hope that I can help others to feel empowered. I would encourage you to, right now or when you have some free time, go out there and look up some third parties and share their ideas, share their materials, and maybe even consider giving some of them money, especially if you give money to Democrats or Republicans. Say, maybe I'm going to give a little instead to these other parties. Uh, I think if everyone did this, or if even a small portion of people in the U.S. did this, it would provide a great deal of additional diversity in the U.S. politics, and I think that we'd be much better off for it. Uh, and lastly, I really love when people share my videos. It helps get the ideas out there. I would really appreciate it if you do that, and I love when people subscribe to my channel. Thank you!